Hey, hey, happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to Friday, May 29th, 2020, and RTHD, Road to Happy Destiny. I am Coach Bear, Coach Glenn the Bear. Welcome to Season 3, Episode 20. What? That is 60 straight days of 60 straight episodes for this program, for this show. I'm very excited about it. Uh, before we get started with today's program, I do want to mention something that I uh, spoke about yesterday, and that is this. Um, not sure what's going on with RTHD just yet. Uh, I know that today is the final episode of Season 3. Um, I'm probably going to take uh, a couple of days off and, uh, and then figure out where we're going to go with the show from that point. So anyway, um, I'm probably going to be updating over the weekend uh, as to what's going to take place, uh, as to what takes place and what goes on. And, um, you know, chances are pretty strong, though. Um, I may even start season four tomorrow. You never know. You just never know with the bear. You just really, really don't. So, uh, so we'll see. Um, in some way, shape, or form, uh, I will be updating uh, my faithful viewers, the uh, RTHD Nation, the RTHD crew, the RTHD world. And uh, so let's just uh, go ahead with our show right now and get this party started, this Friday started for you. We're coming to you from Casa 15 Hundo in Metairie, Louisiana, on the edge of Bucktown, baby, in the 504, in the Who Dat Nation. Got a little bounce in my step. It is Friday. Looking forward to a great weekend. Let's get started with our Serenity Prayer. I shall read for you at this time. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardship as a pathway to peace, taking as Jesus did this sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that you will make all things right if I surrender to your will, so that I may be reasonably happy in this life, and supremely happy with you forever in the next. Amen. All right. Very good. Now, let's jump into our thoughts for today. Actually, just one thought. It's a little bit longer, so I thought I'd do one thought today from my cousin Jeb in Lafayette, Louisiana. Uh, thanks to all the cousins for being a part of RTHD up to this point. Uh, really, really, and truly appreciate it. Here we go. Our thought today is about gratitude. Hmm. Interesting. We never talk about gratitude on this show, do we? <laughs> yeah, just kidding. Let's go. Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It continues. Gratitude turns denial into acceptance, chaos into order, confusion into clarity. And these are all concepts about gratitude that we have discussed here on Road to Happy Destiny with Coach Bear um, during these 60 episodes. And uh, so I really thought it was a fitting, fitting way uh, to finish up Season 3 with a thought about gratitude. Um, and I like that very first part that kind of set the tone for the thought for today. Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. And that is why I have spent so much time on RTHD uh, talking about my gratitude and asking you all, the viewers out there, to search for what you are in gratitude for, what you are grateful for. Uh, it has really, really genuinely helped me uh, to make gratitude lists each and every single day. Um, and I'm going to continue to do that regardless of the course for this show. And so, gratitude, good way to uh, finish up a thought for today. All right, let's go into our 24 hours a day book. All right, um, we have a reflection and a meditation for you. All right, and for me as well. Giddy up, right? We riding? Well, I'm with you, homie. All right, reflection. Acceptance is love, and love is God's will for us. If God doesn't work for you there, insert whatever works for you. So acceptance is love, and love is God's will for us. Um, 
So I like that. You know, we talk about acceptance all the time. And I know that I've broken it down into uh, me accepting myself, right? And being able to accept myself so that I can be on this journey. I can be on this road to happy destiny. So, you know, um, you know with, with all that being said, um, the acceptance part for me is to be able to love myself, right? And if I can love myself, then I can reach out and I can love others as well. So it's all intertwined, all right? And so I like that in our reflection for today. Our meditation is as follows. My helping hand, or your helping hand, is needed to raise the helpless to courage, to strength, to faith, to health. Okay? So my helping hand, or your helping hand, uh, plays a role in that for other people, okay? It gives other people those things, right? And that's what I've been trying to do on this show is help myself so that I can, you know, have a helping hand reach out to one other person or multiple people or many people, right? You know, I don't know how big this thing is. Uh, I know that a couple of people uh, reached out to me yesterday and said, what do you mean you're not doing a show? What, what, what do you mean? Uh, and I'm not going to lie. Uh, and today my schedule's off a little bit. I had some things to take care of in the morning, so I'm no doing this show in the afternoon. Um, and you know, I I'm starting to buy into the maybe it's too much to do a show every single day. And you know what? I love doing the show, so I you never know what tomorrow is going to bring. Okay. As for today, today is the end of season three, episode twenty. Okay, for the season. So that's three seasons in the book at the end of today's program. All right, so we'll go with that for right now. Let's go ahead and get ready. Let's do it. Let's dive into action. I want to. You want to. You know it. A lot of people, it's their favorite part of the show. Grab your handy-dandy into action notebook, a utensil used for writing purposes, and go ahead and open up to a brand spanking new page so we can put down our three categories for today, our three columns, all right? And they are as follows. Number one, gratitude in our thought for today, right? Uh, talk about it every single day. What are you grateful for? Column number two, category number two, courage, okay? How can you show courage today for yourself or for others, okay? How can you display courage today? Or if you want to reflect a little bit, how have you been displaying courage, especially during this pandemic, right? During the coronavirus, COVID-19, and our quarantine situation, right? So, uh, I did that for Gail and Bill, and they know why. So anyway, um, what do you have courage for today, or what can you do to give yourself courage today? All right, and the third category, column three, uh, be the spark. Be the spark? What does that mean? How can you be a spark for not only yourself, but someone else today? What can you do to be a spark? You know, can you bring some enthusiasm? Can you bring some energy? Can you bring something where somebody... Get something just from your vibe, you know, that, that moves them into action or having a spark or a bounce in their step, right? So be a spark or be the spark. And what can you do today to be a spark in your life as well as the lives of others? All right, get busy right now and I'm going to go ahead and share with you uh, my items that I put down on paper and... Here we go with gratitude. All right, what am I grateful for today? Well, I am grateful for interest in me. And let me explain what that means. Uh, right now, there is some interest in me uh, for a couple of potential jobs starting up as early as maybe tomorrow or as early as next week. Uh, and it's, it's, it's more than one opportunity. So there's some interest out there uh, in me coming to work for, for someone. So I'm very excited about that. I'm very grateful about that, okay? Uh, but I'm also excited about the interest in RTHD. You know, this is, this is, this is my baby right now, you know? And, um, you know, when people reached out yesterday and said, what do you mean you're going to stop for a while or a couple of days or go on a hiatus, whatever that means, you know? Uh, it showed an interest in me, not necessarily... Uh, so much the show, I think, as much as an interest in me because people know how much I love, love doing this show. 
So I'm in gratitude today for interest in me, in Coach Glenn the Bear. So thank you all very much for that interest. I appreciate it right now, and I appreciate it each and every single day. All right, courage. What am I going to have courage for today? All right, I put down this. Um, I'm going to continue to have courage in myself for being patient over these past couple few months, okay? Uh, being out of work and not uh, letting that worry consume me, right? Being courageous during these times to realize that there is a plan and I don't know what it is, right? And I've mentioned in previous episodes... Patience is not a strong suit of mine. So um, the ability to have been patient and allow these things that I spoke of in gratitude today to come to fruition. Um, and so this patience and uh, having the courage just to be patient, right? Because I know me and a lot of people in society, uh, it's an immediate gratification world that we live in. Uh, we don't want to wait. We don't want to be patient. We don't want to see what the plan is, right? And so uh, I'm going to continue um, being courageous in this effort. And it's an effort. It's practice for me to just take it one day at a time, see where today goes, and hope for the best for tomorrow. Okay? So how about you? What are you going to be courageous for today? Or how can you be courageous for someone else, right? So they can see that strength in you to give them courage. Okay? All right, and the last last column, if you will, I was going to say category or a little bit left, um, be the spark. Well, how can I be the spark? How can you be the spark today? All right, so I like this little phrase I jotted down, and uh, it's, it, it, it goes back to when my daughter Olivia, who is now 22, uh, was in pre-kindergarten or nursery school, one of the two, at a place called Cub Corner over there at Mount Carmel Academy, MCA. And, um, you know, they would all tell, uh, they would all tell or say to Olivia when she would leave at the end of the day, let your light shine. So <laughs> we would love to say that to Olivia. Olivia, are you letting your light shine? Uh, so we had a lot of fun with that when the kids were growing up. Hey, let your light shine. So since I love it so much, I'm going to use it for me. How am I going to be a spark? I'm going to let my light shine, right? I'm just going to be enthusiastic. I'm going to be energetic. I'm going to be me. Hey, you be you, I'm going to be me. And that's who I am. That's who, who I want to be, too. Um, I like being upbeat. I like to be glass half full. I like to be, hey, positive as I can be, right? Even when things aren't exactly uh, all positive right now for all of us and for me uh, as I do this show, right? So uh, how can I be a spark? I'm trying to be a spark of energy. If, if I could sum it up, I'm going to let my light shine. You let your light shine. And, uh, Allow all the others around you to let their light shine. All right, very good. So, I hope you enjoyed Into Action today. Don't forget to jot down a, re a little reflection of today's show um, somewhere in your handy-dandy notebook, wherever you normally do that. All right, let's go to advice for me and possibly for you. All right, here we go. Let's see where we are in time. Oh, we're doing pretty good today. All right. I saw this on the FB, loved it, said, I'm going to share this in advice for me. Here we go. Never regret a day in your life. Good days give happiness. Bad days give experience. Worst days give lessons. Best days give memories. Man, I like that, especially since I've been talking a lot uh, the past few days, you know, uh, about kind of letting go of the past even more and more each and every day, right? And realizing that not every day is going to be a good day or a bad day or a worst day or a best day, all right? You never know what your day is going to be, right? Uh, I am living for today, living in this 24 hours, um, and I'm trying to win the day. But realize, too, that it's all okay to have each of those four types of days mentioned. I've got to realize that because there's so much we can gain from it, no matter what. So much I can gain from it, right? So if it's a good day, I can gain happiness. 
If it's a bad day, I can gain experience. If it's a worst day, I can gain lessons. If it's a best day, I can gain memories. So I love that piece of advice uh, or what I'm using from the FB as advice for me and hopefully advice for you. Now, the very first episode, season one, episode one, was the longest episode of all 60, I believe. I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, today is not going to be the shortest episode, but it's going to be a lot shorter than it has been over the last couple few weeks. So, with that being said, let's go into our final thought for today. All right? And that is what defines us is how we rise after falling, not the fall itself. So if I look at the past couple, three years of my life and that I had a fall or falls, plural, right? So what's going to define me? All right. What's going to define me? After falling, not the fall itself, how I rise after the falling. And you could say, well, you know, you said you were going to rise before and, you know, you did a little bit and then, you know. Today is a new day. I'm working each and every day to continue this rise. That's all I can do. You know, all I can ask for is um, the strength and to practice all these RTHD things that are discussed on the program in this series, right? And so, um, you know, what's going to define me is how I rise from this, how we rise from whatever we're going through and not the fall itself. Don't stay in the fall. That's what happens a lot of times is people stay in the fall and they never get out. It's like quicksand sometimes, right? You know, the harder you try and get out of quicksand, you know, you, you might not go anywhere. But here's what I was trying to say in that. Got to keep working to get through, right? And that's what I'm trying to do. You know, I might have had, uh, you know, a few sinkages here and there, but still fighting to get back up on top to rise out of the quicksand. And so, uh, you know, I hope that that makes sense to you. It made a little sense to me. So anyway, uh, I please want to ask everyone um, that loves Road to Happy Destiny RTHD to uh, continue to ask people to subscribe to the YouTube channel, Cyril Melville, or you can search Road to Happy Destiny. Um, to share it on Facebook, to make comments on Facebook, to like it on Facebook, uh, and continue to spread the word. Because I don't know where this show is going to go, uh, but I do know it's going to go somewhere. I just got to figure that out, right? Just got to figure it out. So, hey, happy Friday. Have a great and wonderful weekend. Go out today and all weekend long. Be happy, be joyous, be free. Be in gratitude, be into action. Love you all so very much. Thank you so much for these 60 episodes. And uh, we'll see where it goes. Not sure. But I will say this. We riding? Well, I'm with you, homie. So come on. Come take the ride with the bear. Have a great one. Peace. Love you.